Field for a start, just a slip. There's a short cover. Three other men on the offside saving the single. Three on the on and deep backward square. First ball in Test cricket in England for Shane Warne. And he's done it. He started off with the most beautiful delivery. Gary has absolutely no idea what has happened to it. He still doesn't know. He asked Kenny Palmer on the way out. Kenny Palmer just gave him a raised eyebrow and a little nod. That's all it needed. Well, that has turned about two and a half feet. Gadding can't believe his eyes. What a start for Shane Warne. Mike Gadding bowled Warne for four. England, two for 80. Grace and Andrew Strauss looking a bit foolish, but he did here. Look for the big Yorker. Take you back to 2015, the World Cup. It's the group stage, Australia versus New Zealand. New Zealand are chasing, they need six runs off something like 150 balls, but they're nine down. Mm. Mitchell Stark's on a hat trick. Ian Smith and Shane Warne are having the time of their lives in the commentary box. Yeah. Talk to me about that. Yeah, well, uh, quite uh, honestly, it's, it's, a, it's a happy, sad memory, isn't it, now? Uh, I had some wonderful times in the commentary box with Warne, and, and more often than not, Australia won. So he had the upper hand, but that's what he was like. You saw him, he was combative on the field of play. So to commentate with him was all like, like to play against him. And that was our day, so uh, our day up there. And I remember vividly saying something to him, like, get off the floor, Warren, get off the floor. Um, you know, um, and he was sort of, because the whole time he was saying, we've got this, Australia, we've got this, don't we? You guys always choke, you know, you choke. I said, no, we've got Kane out there. I said, look, we're, we're, we're a chance here. And it was such a low scoring game on such a small ground and everyone couldn't quite work it out. Uh, and in the end, of course, Kane Williamson did what he did. Um, and we got that. Straight down the ground! Alan Board is with us. Thanks, Alan. Thank you. Beside Alan, the man that captain Shaney, 42 test matches, and Warney loved his attacking flair. Mark Taylor is with us. Thanks, Mark. A fella that was the king of the MCG before Warney arrived. They loved him here. They still love him because he's a Victorian. Merv Hughes is with us. <laughs> the old enemy, former captain of England who played 17 Ashes tests against Shane and spent the last 10 years broadcasting with him in the UK. Nasser Hussain has made the trip to Australia. gentleman that made 277 against the Australians and Shane at the SCG, an incomparable batsman, Brian Charles Lara is with us as well. Okay, we've got the formalities out of the way. Before we get going, AB, it'd be fair to say there was a few nerves in the sheds before we came out here. Yeah, a few pre-match uh, jitters for sure. I, I think I'd rather be facing Curtly Ambrose out there at the moment. <laughs> Doing what they're doing, but yeah, a bit, bit nervous, but uh, you know, happy to sort of uh, send off you know, our great mate this way. Well, we're going to tell a few stories about you, mate, but before we do that, we'll start with you and then I'll ask all you gentlemen if you could have one word to describe Wardy, what would it be? Genius. I'd say genuine. Bogan. <laughs> Dead set, Bogan. That's two or three words, but I like it. 
Uh, well, unique genius. I'll go entertainer. He entertained us. Uh, definitely see the king. The king, yeah, I think the king's a great one. Well, AB, we'll start with you. We'll hear some stories about Warney. You were lucky enough to play cricket with him all around the world, including South Africa. When did you realise that Shane wasn't your stock standard brilliant test cricketer? Well, my memories of that 94 uh, South African tour in particular you talk about uh, was my last tour as an Australian cricket player. Uh, we uh, started the tour off in uh, Pretoria playing against uh, the Nicky Oppenheimer uh, 11. Um, uh, if you don't know the Nicky Oppenheimer name, he was uh, De Beers Diamonds uh, company, so a, a very wealthy individual, uh, but a, a, a big, big cricket fan. And uh, this particular day, I don't remember too much about the game itself, but uh, the, the challenge was out on, uh, put to me of a game of golf against Nicky Oppenheim, right. his CEO, and myself, and of course my partner had to be Shane Warne. <laughs> so anyway, the, the next day turns up after the match, we, we go out to this beautiful golf course for, for the big match against uh, Oppenheimer, he's the CEO, and uh, Shane and myself. And uh, you know, the game's going on well, there's good banter happening, and uh, then Nicky uh, noticed uh, that uh, Shane had a little sort of uh, diamond stud <laughs> Uh, in his ear and um, of course he started to have a look at it and said I don't know whether that's a real diamond Shane it looks like a zircon to me <laughs> ok that rolled Warney up and the band has started from there and, and of course um, Nicky Oppenheim is using a, an old persimmon head club and uh, you know Warney started getting into him about geez mate like you're using with your dad's club so I could all chip in and buy a new set if you like champ you know? and so the band the band went from there that type of thing and it was um you know, good day out on the golf course and of course Aussies got up so that was uh, pretty important and uh, we had a, just a fantastic day with these two guys and back to the hotel and then the next morning we're sort of milling around in the uh, foyer waiting to get on the team bus and a courier arrives and uh, we get called over to the concierge desk to you know, be greeted with these two parcels and uh, all very excited you know, from the Oppenheimer so I rip over my little package and there's an envelope there and there's 20 rand uh, in, in this uh, envelope. And which is what? Which is... 10 bucks. About 2 bucks, maybe. Right. <laughs> That's what we played for, for uh, the golf. And, you know, there was a note saying, well played yesterday, you know, congratulations, enjoy the rest of the tour, Nicky O. So I thought, oh, well, you know, fair enough, he paid his uh, golfing debts, you know, that's how, as you should do. And uh, Warren, he's ripping open his box and then he gets a little parcel in there and I open it up. And there's this huge diamond stud <laughs> earring in this parcel. And then the note said, now that's a real diamond. 